So when you take a look at consumer confidence being this high, what does that tell you? Well, you know, this is the highest level, as you said, since the fall of 2000. And consumers are focused on what's impacting them. The jobs market is very strong. Wages are moving again, and they're feeling like they've got money to spend. And more importantly, when you look at the Consumer Expectations Index, they continue to think that this will go on through the first quarter of 2019. That says that the holiday season should be very strong, as we all know. The economy is 70% the consumer, and holidays are so important. The fourth quarter is so important to, uh, to sure. GDP. So, you know, we've got a good GDP run going here. It should stay strong based on these uh, consumer confidence numbers. They're feeling pretty good right now, Steve, but I'm guessing that the survey was taken during the time or before the time of the most recent bout of market volatility. So come November, when the next numbers come out, and we are in the thick of holiday shopping season, how do you think the consumers are going to feel then? Well, you know, you don't see a lot of consumer confidence bounce be, uh, because of volatility. And, you know, what we've seen is up and down. We're down to a single digit off of uh, all-time highs, as we all know. If there was a sustained trend down for a long period, we got into a bear market, well, then it might begin to uh, force people to look at their 401ks and, and readjust. But uh, typically, market volatility like this up and down does not affect consumer confidence. So that's why we think that this, is, uh, this looks like a strong season uh, for us here because of the expectations index that, you know, they don't see anything here that's going to derail it. Confidence good, Steve. Spending this week was good. Uh, you think incomes, though, have peaked? Well, you know, it's really hard to know. We, we've done a study on, on labor shortages, and as, as the market has tightened, that's uneven. You're seeing a lot of uh, labor shortage in blue-collar markets. You're seeing it um, in the trades. You're seeing it uh, in everything that affects the housing market. And then you've got geographic tightness, uh, certainly in the coasts and, and uh, obviously urban areas. So it's, it's uneven in that. But I, you know, if, if that continues, you would expect to see unemployment levels come down further and labor uh, wages uh, rise even further. So... You know, that's the expectation here. I mean, I ask, I ask you the question because the income gain was the smallest in 15 months, would, which would suggest that, you know, perhaps consumer spending is unsustainable if that trend remains intact. Well, yeah, but then you also have all of the seasonal hiring that's going to happen during the holidays. You know, you've got, uh, you know, Amazon alone is, is, is adding tens of thousands of jobs. All retailers do. That should add more. Uh, spending uh, into the market on top of what we're seeing going into it. So I think this is going to be a, a very positive trend. You know, also you look at the trade situation, which people were worried would, would derail things, and that seems to not even have created a ripple uh, in all of this. And as we know, it hasn't affected the U.S. GDP because our imports into China are relatively small. So it doesn't look, you know, unless we get into a, a big bear market, unless something, you know, some exogenous event happens here, it doesn't look like there's anything that would de derail consumer confidence going into the holidays. Steve, Steve, just a couple of moments left here. If the economy is so good, if things are going so well, people are so confident, how is that not playing out in these election projections we're seeing for the midterms? Well, <laughs> I don't know what consumer, that there's a correlation between consumer confidence and the elections and, of course, uh, you know, we'll find out what happens next week. But I think that uh, you, you see uh, the focus here on the job, their own job situation and their own wage situation, and that's really what ties to the consumer confidence. So, um, again, it looks, and if you look at, uh, at what they are projecting here, as far as they can see, the next six months, all of it looks positive. So they don't obviously think that uh, whatever's going to happen next week is going to derail that. All right, Steve Odlin with the Conference Board, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you.